Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bola, if you are new to my channel. I do a lot of hair videos, DIY videos, interior design videos, and general lifestyle videos. So thank you, thank you so much for clicking on this video to watch my craziness and me forever updating my bedroom. And if you love interior design as well, and you love God, and you love the Word of God, follow my Instagram page. So it's gonna come up here, it's at House of Tito on Instagram. But before we start this video, in two, I think about two videos ago, I did mention that I was going to start a new segment on my channel, yay! Yeah! 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 We do love to see it. So um, I'm gonna do something called Candid Comments, um, where, um, I read out your a comment from a possibly a subscriber, maybe not a subscriber. I'm not too sure. And I'm just gonna read it out and maybe answer something that they've asked me in the comment section. This is a candid comment from Mark Weedell. I'm so sorry if I can't if I cannot pronounce your names now. I say it in advance. Mark Weedell, Weedell, um, commenting on my room when I painted it grey. A card will come up here or here if you wanted to watch that. So I painted my room before it was white, painted it a dark matte grey, loved it back then, hated it now. So that's why my room is white. But he said, and the comment should come up here, he said too dark of a colour to do the whole room, should have done an accent wall in that colour, looks like a cave. And you know what, you're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong, it's, it, do, it did look like a cave and that's why I changed it. But thank you for your comment, thank you for being so candid, thank you for your opinion. And yeah, so that's it for candid comments. If you want to put a comment down below in this video, please do and maybe you can get a shout out in the next one. But without further ado, oh my days, without further ado, um, let's get started and I will show you the things I've been buying because it's this. So, um, last week I went to TK Maxx um, and I bought uh, just little trinkets for my room. I'm a major candle lover. I love candles. Um, I just, I love them. So this, it actually looks used and abused. I've only lit it three times. It's not the best wick, so it hasn't burnt all the way to the edges, but um, why does it look like this? It actually looks really crap, but I bought this um, candle from TK Maxx. If you want a, if you want a really good plug, yeah, want a really really good plug for candles, TK Maxx is the best, like hands down the best because they have a make a wide range. So this is just how it looks. I don't know if it's gonna focus, but we kind of just hope for the best with this camera. Um, so yeah, so this is how it looks. It's like a frosted glass finish. It smells. It actually smells like the coast. It smells like, it has like beachy vibes. Very sweet, very fresh as well. Sweet, fresh smell. So, I bought this pampas grass, right? And it's not supposed to be this color. So they were supposed to kind of look similar to this. Um, just fluffy and um, shorter. I just didn't realize they were gonna come out like this. I'll unravel it and show you guys. So I wanted just a bit more of this because I kind of, I just love pampas grass. Like I think they're so buff. It actually came bent, but I've recently just flattened it. I bought it from eBay from China and it's literally just fallen apart. But I've got a quick tip for you guys in case you have pampas grass and you don't know why it's shedded so much. It just naturally sheds like that. Ooh, can you guys see this? Ugh. put it in here for now doesn't look that bad in here hmm actually doesn't look that bad nice okay maybe it doesn't actually look bad actually no no i can't lie can't lie to you guys just don't know how i feel but okay let me put it down for now so i've got this hairspray this is just pink hairspray, I don't know. Just gonna give it a good, good shake. I'll open the window as well. 
give it just a really thorough spray. Ooh, sorry guys. See? Less shedding. Oh, oh fantastic. Just gonna go into the middle. Oof. Shed where is literally shedding nowhere. So, okay, a little bit sheds, but it's definitely not as much as before. And so I was looking around for a nice big round mirror and Danelm were doing a major deal um, where I think it was 25% off. And this mirror that I bought was supposed to be about, I think it was 35 pounds. It went down to like 25. It's so, so heavy um, and literally it's huge. Like it's so, so big, but I really, really love it. I hope you guys can really see it. Um, it's just very big and it's just gonna go on this wall here and it's from Danelm so everything is going to be linked in the description box so that you guys can buy it if you want it I really really am in love with this mirror I bought this really really cute um, papaya and coconut um, reed diffuser I'm yet to open it I don't actually know how it smells but papaya and coconut how do you smell diffusers? Normally they have the scratchy scratchy thing but this time around I don't know I can't really smell much to be fair but papaya and coconut is a bit of me like I love coconut papaya I'm not too sure how that smells but I do like it I do wish this was gold though because gold is the metal for my room so but yeah I'm excited to put this out and see how it smells. I'm gonna move on to Zara. I'm gonna move on to Zara. I love what I love Zara home. Like I actually love, 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 love their things. Although their things can look a bit expensive, not look, but their things are on the pricey side. But what I love about Zara is that their sales are just magnificent. So it came in a big box. This thing is a golden buzz <gasps> i think i love this this so my pampas grass was supposed to go in here and i just love this buzz like it's so beautiful i can't even begin to explain like it's so gorgeous it's got like a snake skin design all around it oh my gosh and it's heavy like it's actually heavy it's got a lot of weight to it it's really good quality and i love the rim because it's not like a perfect circle it's kind of like a rigid type of circle i think this is ceramic yeah it's got like a really beautiful gold finish it's not like like um, like yellow gold it's more like a lightish um like a light silverish gold so it's like chic, it's really, really pretty. It's got a beautiful finish. So when my new Pampas grass comes, I'm gonna put it in here. Let's see how this looks. Maybe you can make the Pampas grass look better. This Pampas grass, I might have to chuck it or give it to charity or something. Cause I can't stay in this house. So one of the other things I said I started using was this fan, this beautiful fan. This was also part of their sale. I love this fan. It's just a decorative fan. I don't think it's supposed to have a purpose. It's just for decoration. I think I got it for like ten pounds from Zara. I think it was like twenty twenty pounds or so. I got it for ten pounds, and I just added it to my gallery wall. If you haven't seen how I put together this gallery wall, although you can't really see it, a card will go here or here, so you can watch that. Um, but yeah, I just love this fan. I think it adds really really cute colours, and like I mentioned before, it kind of adds the roughness that I need in my room to kind of make it that much more earthy it kind of gives that kind of rough vibe and that earthy vibe and that kind of like light looking pretty girly but still chic and a bit elegant you know it's just a bit of everything and I just love it it reminds me of the motherland as well like just something about it is just so regal and it's just so like Nigerian like it just looks Nigerian like I can't even do you get what I mean and I just I love it I love everything about it 
So yeah. The next up from Zara we have this royal pink. Oh my god. This pale pink situation. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can you guys see this? It's so fragile though. Like I could sneeze and it will probably break. Like the, gra the glass is really, it's really thin. But I think that's, it's aesthetics honey. It's for the aesthetic. Like can you see this? Oh, they had another yellow one. And I love that yellow one. Like it's a 15 minute timer. So this is a 15 minute timer. Um, and it's just so beautiful. Like I'm not really trying to time nothing. But like I just think it will go so nicely in my room. Yeah, so what I love about Zara is that they have like timeless pieces. They sell timeless pieces and it's so, so elegant and it's so pretty. And last but not least from Zara is this trinket tray. It's heavy, but it's the matching. So it matches the vase that I showed you earlier. But this trinket tray is so beautiful. Like it's so gorgeous. Just look at that. It's got the um, same print, literally just the, co not even cousins, like sister of the vase that I just showed you and it's heavy, like this is actually heavy, but yeah, this is a bit of me, it's a bit of me, like honestly, and it's just got the rigid edges that I love, like it's just not perfect and I love that, like it's not clean and that's what I just love about Zara pieces, they've just got a lot of, um, really nice like things that you don't even think of like what they think of it and i think zara is just known for that they just make things that you wouldn't think look good until you buy it and you're like oh my gosh this looks amazing so yeah this is a trinket tray i might put candles on here although i don't think this necessarily goes nicely on it um i might just put like little things on it like my little roly 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 thing looks quite nice on it not bad gold on green we love a bit of that um but yeah love it we love to see it might put jewelry on it you know little rings and stuff like that little trinket tray and yeah yeah so primark homeware listen they are the underdogs honestly they are the underdogs if you want really cute pieces um i would say they sell a lot of staples so little things here and there, they sell really cute looking candles. They just sell really nice like decorative pieces and practical pieces as well, like bed sheets. Although their bed sheets are questionable, this one, this bed sheet is from Primark. I do really like it because it's really, really like soft, but long term is definitely not. I wouldn't go down Primark, um, what is it? I wouldn't, I would not buy their um bedding simply because like i think it's just not the best qualities like i said they sell a lot of decorative pieces and one of the things i picked up when i was there was this like star hook thing i'm not too sure what it is but it's like a it's like a hook but it's kind of like a star and it's got a mirror in the middle and the gold is kind of like a vintage gold type thing so it's not like a polished finish um it's kind of like a rough gold that i just uh, it's a bit of me love honestly it really is a bit of me um and i'll just show you how it looks outside of this cardboard things it's just so cute and i just want to add it to my gallery wall i think it will just make a nice decorative piece on my gallery wall the last thing i am going to show you guys are these crystals so these beautiful crystals, like I love crystals. I love crystals. Um, they're very controversial, um, especially because I'm a Christian. I'm a loud Christian. I really proclaim my faith. And as you guys watch this, these videos, you're gonna see more of that. But I'm a Christian, um, I, but I love, love, love crystals. Now, the reason I say they are controversial is because a lot of people believe that crystals have healing properties. Personally, I don't believe that they do. They don't. So some of them are claimed to bring um, love or friendship in your life. 
some of them claim to bring like health cancer all these things they claim to have but um from what I believe and what I'm convicted by and what I know to be true personally I know for a fact that they don't um, even scientifically speaking they also they don't have um, healing properties about what I believe with these crystals and what I believe to be true what biblical truths actually tell us about um, you know healing and God being our ultimate healer um, properties these things can't literally make you feel better they can't but what they can do is make my eyes feel better because they are stunning they are beautiful um so i got these at kind of like an auction like an online auction um and i just i've always loved crystals and druzies for as long as i can remember so you might be thinking what are these like these look weird like what are they they're literally just um crystals so rocks natural rocks formed from the earth and they are mined from places like madagascar um i think south america also sell i think it's south america but they sell like they, they have mines there that have natural um, quartz rocks, um, lipidolite, I think that's what this one is called. They've just got a bunch of different names. I can't remember them, but I just love them for decorative pieces only. I think they just add that je ne sais quoi. I don't even know what that means, but they just add that gorgeousness. They are really, really, really stunning. And I know a lot of people are gonna disagree with me in terms of um, them having healing properties um, and what they can do i know for a fact as long as i'm alive and well i know that god is my only healer and god will always be my healer there isn't any property that will touch that i'll now feel like like i'm okay no it doesn't exist for me but you know i want to respect everyone's beliefs i want to respect everyone's views um but i do want to shed some light on some facts on some things that you may not know about ultimately they're like jewelry they're for adornment um purposes and i just love them and i want to collect more like i want loads when i move out get my own property i definitely want like a huge beautiful collection jotted a beautiful collection of crystals jotted all around but let me just do a close-up of them for you so that you can truly see one what i'm on about sorry about my nails guys but this is i think this is i don't know lipidolite strawberry i don't know this is called strawberry quartz i think it's just like a purpley marble type of point they're called crystal points this is i think this one is called a rose quartz this is my fave i love this one this one is sharp like this can really cut you <laughs> but they're all real so it would make sense why but can you see the inside like they are stunning what but that's basically everything guys um i'm gonna basically just put my things together make it look cute um i'll record it all in the process so that you guys are with me when i'm doing this and we can just do it together and if you have any suggestions or anything that you think would help my journey of completing my room please let me know thank you guys so much for watching thank you for tuning in thank you for um, your consistency if you haven't followed my interior design page please follow it at house of tito if you want to know why it's called tito because my name is bola tito so i just took the end of my name and i added and i just kind of played around with it also if you want to follow me on my personal instagram it's at bola martins underscore follow that and um we can chat send me a dm say hi comment and if you comment maybe you can be chosen for the next candid comments or subscriber shout so thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye